didn't see you there, you startled me. What if is often a popular question asked in today's society. What if I didn't eat that last Oreo cookie, or what if I decided not to jump off that rooftop? You get the point. What you have just witnessed is 100% real footage of sports. And now ask yourself, what if the outcome would have been different? What if Gordon Hayward's shot would have went in at the buzzer? It would have gone down as one of the greatest moments in college basketball history. And what if the Kansas State Wildcats had not laid an egg in week 11 and got on to play in the national championship? And what if Tiger Woods had gone on to win 19 majors and become the greatest golfer of all time? So you see, it's very easy to say what if. And now what you're about to witness are the, the outcomes of those same what ifs. They are not real. I made them for school. And so now feast your eyes on the power of Photoshop and all of its capabilities and ask yourself, what if? What's going on, internet? This is Caden here. We're going over my Photoshop project that I did for Vision Tech. Uh, first of all, I love sports, and a lot of times I try and incorporate sports into my technology projects. And I came up with the idea of creating magazine covers of the big of some of the biggest what if moments in sports, or at least what I consider that to be. Um, so what I did was I. As I found out how to make the Sports Illustrated text, and basically all it is, the closest that we can get to on Photoshop, is just the impact font right here. And then to make it look a little more realistic, I selected my my font here, and then I went to Blending Options, and selected Bevel and Emboss. If I take that off, you can see that if I put it on, it looks a little bit more like the actual cover. And then... Every, and some of the other covers I did some different things but this one a lot of times especially especially on this layer right here with the um, cover story um, I did did not do the bevel and emboss but I dropped the shadow so you could see it a little better obviously you can read it a lot better when I have the drop shot shadow option on um, so this is my first cover um, if you don't know, this is the national championship game for college basketball from about well, probably five, six years now. And this was a shot at the end, at the very end of the game, that really almost went in. It was very, very close. So what my magazine cover portrays is if this shot actually went in, which it obviously didn't, but if it did. And so what I did was I found the actual Sports Illustrated cover from the day after the national championship game or or not the day after, but whatever, the week after it happened. And so this little article towards the top of the screen right here is that is an actual article from the other magazine. So I tried to make it as real as I could. April twelfth, two thousand ten. That's when when the last issue when the issue came out. So that's what I did. That was my first one I did, and I I, I like it. Um, the next one I did is right here. I had I had to do something with my Wildcats. Obviously, it's a very um, hard thing to think about because this cover is about K-State going into the national championship back in 2012 and if they would not have lost to Baylor in that fateful November 9th. Um, so there wasn't really a mag I couldn't really find a, a, a good Sports Illustrated cover from that time so I kind of just made up my own little stories and like the Heisman preview. Colin Klein would have went on, probably went on to win the Heisman, the bowl preview edition, and just tried to add add little things to it. Um, and sometimes these backgrounds are kind of hard just to get it um, able the read, be able to read the text. And and I try I dropped the shadow on this one and and tried tried to do the best I could with it. But um, this is probably my my favorite picture, probably because it's a really it's, I think it's a really cool picture that I found. Um, my third is if Tiger Woods would have went on to win 19 majors instead of kind of um, not be very good as he used to be. Um, 19 majors would have made him the greatest golfer of all time. And so basically I just made made a, a little magazine cover about Tiger becoming the greatest golfer of all time. Um, obviously there's no really cover to base it on because nothing like that has really happened. So I tried to just 
go off my own. Um, and this might probably, this probably might, this might be my best one, I think. But this is, this isn't really a what if, actually. But it's a cool Smoky Valley football magazine cover for Sports Illustrated when uh, we were able to defeat Chapman back in, back last October and advance to the playoffs for the first time in seven years. So, um, I tried to just make some cool little little subtitles and titles on here and, and really make it look as real as possible. Um, that's basically all all I have. Um, I, I, I talked about how basically I think on every single one I had to drop the shadow because I think except for maybe on these uh, with, with there's when there's black in the background, but but it was it, I actually learned a lot about Photoshop and how to make things look the way you want and. Sometimes it gets annoying trying to move things all over the screen and trying to get them where you want and you, you think you're moving one and you accidentally you're moving the other one and it kind of makes you mad. And But uh, I learned a lot about Photoshop. I hadn't really worked a lot in Photoshop and I'm glad I, I, I decided to do something I haven't done before. I think it really helped me learn learn some different things in Photoshop and and I've, I've just always, I've, I've done a lot of just touching things up that probably only I can really see because I've seen it in different ways. but. It's just little touch-ups, trying to get every little every little title perfect, and I don't even know if that's even possible. But trying to just go in, go in, and make sure the it looks as best as I can. So um, that's all I have. I had I really enjoyed this. It was really cool. I I think it's a cool idea what I did, and I hope you enjoyed my reflection video.